Hey guys, NV here. In this video, we're gonna do another photo effect. This time, I wanna create like a mural, okay? On a paint that's been painted on a wall. Now, I'm not the most artistic individual. I couldn't paint my way out of a wet paper bag if I had to. So, we're gonna work with what we've got, okay? I already have a photo loaded in Photoshop. If you don't have one, you can download this directly from the link below the video. Now, I wanna show you something real quick. I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna move this scrub around here, okay? Pan around a little bit. You see that, how it's choppy? Well, that is from a recent update that I've received from uh, for Photoshop from Adobe. And you've noticed in my other videos, it has been very smooth. Since this update, it has been nothing but choppy, okay? And it isn't my system, so it's definitely something to do with the update. And this is almost unrecordable for me. I, and I cannot stand this. It's very difficult for me to even want to work in, uh, with this uh, situation going on. You can see that. And again, definitely not my system. Um, and I really hope they address this like immediately because it, it, it's, it's really setting me off. It, it's just very annoying. But we're going to try to make this work anyway. So I do apologize. So what we're going to do is I'm going to tap the U key on the keyboard, okay? And I want to select the polygon tool right here, okay? And I want this to be white. Oops, sorry about that. I want this to be white, just like so. I just, all I did was tap the X key. And, well, well I'll tell you what, yeah. I'm going to click this box here, select this little color box right here, and I'm going to make it an off-white, though, not a pure white. Something like that right there, okay? And I'm going to click OK. Here's the value, by the way. I'm going to click OK. And I want to change this because uh, I want a star. So I'm going to say about five. And we're going to go to this gear icon right here. And I want smooth corners, smooth indents. And I want this to be about, I say, 35 maybe. We'll see. What I'm going to do is hold shift, and I'm just going to click and drag out. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to release. I'm going to hold control, click on this shape, and just drag it down a little bit. Kind of center it in the wall. And I want to rotate this to kind of center this. So control T. And I'm going to just kind of rotate it around a little bit. I'm not going to try to be perfect. I'm going to try to keep my perfectionist out of the way. That's not, that's easier said than done. So I'm going to say about right here, something like that. And I'm going to confirm that with a check mark. And now what I want to do, I'm going to name this, right, by the way, name it star. I'm going to put this in a folder. So alt shift. I'm going to name this, let's just name it star. Why not? Not very uh, complicated. And now I want to duplicate this. I'm going to hold the alt key and just click and drag it down. Let's drag this back in the folder. I'm going to name this, uh, let's name it outline. And I'm going to set that to black all the way, just like that, okay? I'm going to hide this first star layer real quick. Back to our shape tool, so I'm going to tap the U key. I'm going to hold control, and I'm just going to click, just like so. I'm going to hold control again, tap the C key, and I'm copying this, and I want to paste it into this little back in its place. So control V. Go up to paths operations up here. Go down to subtract front shape and click. Now it's cut through it, so what we need to do is hold control, tap the T key on the keyboard, and I'm gonna select in this inputs field right here, either one, width or height, make sure it's locked, and I'm just gonna scrub down, uh, scroll down with the mouse wheel. I want it very thin. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Oops, it's thinking I'm wanting to change the value here, that's not what I wanna do. <laughs> uh, let's try about there. I think. Yeah, let's try about there, 97. And I'm going to call that good, okay? And now what I want to do is activate the star back, and I want to hold control, and tap the T key again, because I want to out, uh, scale, out the land, uh, scale up the outline right here, just like so. Let's see. Yeah, that works. I'm going to zoom in all the way. Oh, that's so annoying. They really, really better fix that. It's just, oh man. Anyway, so here we go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. So I'm going to 
click and drag in there. And I want to select the star shape, okay? And I'm going to go up to styles because I already have a style made. This one right here. I'm going to hide the outline real quick. And I already have it made, as you can tell. And what we're going to do, I'm going to break it down for you and show you what I did. So I'm going to the FX icon, Outer Glow. And you can copy the values right here, okay? <clears throat> so Outer Glow, the color is this right here, okay? I'll copy it just in case I want to see if that's the star is the same color. And Elements, I have the size set to 10. Quality, Range, 60. And now color overlay, again, this right here, okay? And when you get that made, just save the style, okay? And click OK. And I'm gonna see if that's the same, no it is not. So, well, it's not that much of a difference. Anyway, now we wanna do the outline. So I have the outline style as well. So we'll click on that, just like so. And I'm going to break it down for you. So, oh, and I actually just forgot. I do apologize. Back to the star. And we need to go up to blending options here. I forgot to show you that. I do apologize. So, again, you just detach it by holding the Alt key and clicking just to the right of this dark tab right here in the dark side right there. And there you go. Okay. And you can let go of the uh, Alt key after that. And basically, we're going to drag it to 151. And this side here. Same thing, just to the right of it, and release. And that's at 161, okay? And there you go. And outline for the FX and blending options. And I have just the white all the way to about 54, okay? And that's it. And what I want to do, though, zoom in here a little bit, and I want to feather the side right here, okay? So I'm going to go to Properties of the outline and I'm going to feather that just a little. I'm going to actually just say, I think three. It looks really good. So three works for me. And now we're going to select the star. I don't know why I zoomed out, but I did. <laughs> I think three. I like, yeah, that works. And I'm going to hide the outline. Oh, actually, I'm going to leave the outline there because what I want to do is I want this star to kind of look like it's over uh, some overspray outside the uh, line there. So this is going to be a little bit more. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to actually say about 15. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I mean, it's, it's on the outside of it there. Oh, that is so annoying with this choppiness here. Man. I think 15. So 15 or 20. Which do I prefer? I'm going to actually say 20. So we'll set it to 20. Call that good. Now what I want to do is put some more stars out here, okay? But I'm going to put these on their own individual layer. So I'm going to call this big star. Like so. And we're going to make another folder, Alt-click, and call it small stars okay move that under there just like so and i'm gonna come down here oh no i'm not <laughs> but tap the u key on the keyboard and we're gonna just put some small ones just on the side like this right here okay and not gonna be perfect just i want them uneven in different sizes and things like that i will rotate this one though change it a little bit and do the same here just a little bit of difference here there we go. I think that looks good. Okay. And we're going to do the same technique that we did with the, the white one of the other one. Okay. So I'm going to right click on that, copy, layer style. And we're going to call this small stars. And I'm going to right click on that. And we'll say paste layer style. And look at that. Okay. Zoom out. It looks pretty good. And we could feather this, and the reason why it looks soft is because we have an outer glow there. Okay, oh, sorry, the outer glow. And it does a good job, but we don't need it. So let's hide the outer glow for a moment and go to properties. Let's play around with the feather a little bit. Let's try 1.5. 
maybe two. <laughs> yeah, two works. I think that looks pretty good. Not too bad. Okay, we don't need the outer glow, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that or delete it. Just like so. Now we have that. I want to create some outlines for this one as well. So I'm going to duplicate this, holding control. I made the Alt key and drag it underneath it. I'm going to name this outline. I'm going to delete the color overlay. Okay. And I'm going to double click on this and make it black. Looks a little weird right now, but that's okay. Oh my goodness, this choppiness is, oh, it's so annoying. So what I want to do right here is I want to expand this one, the big star. And on the outline, I want to copy the uh, style value. So copy layer style. And I want to paste it into this one here, outline, okay? And paste. There we go. And I like that. So we need to go ahead and make a little outline just like we did here. So we're going to hold control, click on this one and copy so it's control and c then control v and go up to paths operations subtract front shape now i want to hold control and tap the t key and we're going to scale this down a little bit just a little i want it to be on the outside the out edge try about there confirm that let's see how that looks pretty good i might actually undo that and re uh Make it a little bit bigger. So let's try, let's do 90. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. And we're gonna, I'm gonna do the same for the rest of them. Okay, that looks pretty good. I really do. I like it. I mean, it's enough to notice. So if I disable, you can see the difference. And another thing we can do real quick to make it more noticeable is zoom in here a little bit. And we can, again, select, so I can just hold control, click out here and hold and drag over that right there outline and then control and T and we can just scale that up a little bit and it just go on the outside of that star okay let me redo that because I want to make sure I get the right number here I'm gonna say about 110 confirm that there we go that looks really good I'm gonna do the same for these so we have those zoom back in here it looks pretty good I like what I've got so far. I'm going to zoom all the way in. I want to see the quality. Yeah, it's not too bad. And I might, since it's an outline and it's very thin, I'm going to change the feathering to that. I'm going to try a 1. Maybe a 1.5. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see. Yeah, 1.5 looks good. We'll go with 1.5 in the value right here in the feathering. Okay, and now I want to go ahead and make a new folder. I'm going to call this Moon. Oops. And I'm going to tap the B key on the keyboard, create a new layer. So I'm going to go to Fill Adjustment icon and select this solid color. I'm going to make it black. Okay. The mask, select the mask right here. Control and I will invert it. And I want to name this moon. Reason why I'm doing this is because we made a brush a while back. I showed you how to make a brush with the moon, okay, out of a photo. I want to select this one right here. Custom brush two, moon black. Okay. And basically make sure your foreground is white. And I'm going to size this brush up, say about 935 or something. Maybe even bigger than that. Try that. Okay, 995. Don't have to be precise, but I'm going to basically just click in there, just like that. Okay, kind of in the center. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'll say that's good. And what I'm going to do now is go back to one of these stars here. I'm going to select this outline right here. I think. Let me see if that's what I want or not. No, it's too light. So we're going to select this one. Now, you remember this has a color overlay and an outer glow. And we're not going to go with those in this. And you'll see why when I paste it. So right click and paste. Because it's white. Okay, because it's got that color overlay on it. See that? And I'm going to remove this one as well. And it's not, you know, 
perfect, but I don't want it to be. So that's why I've got it the way I do. And we could play with the blending options here and kind of have some more detail come through. But I don't really think I want to do that. So I'm going to cancel out of that. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this. Oops. I'm going to alt click, hold, and duplicate it. It's a little dark. I mean, it's a little. Actually, I'm not going to duplicate it yet because I want to do a couple more of these moons on the uh, corners here. Okay. Let me zoom in. Tap the B key again. I'm going to size this brush down a good deal. I'm going to say about 150. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply and start kicking, uh, applying them to the edges, the corners right here. Just to add an interesting look. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's really cool looking, actually. So now we can duplicate this. I'm going to Alt, hold Alt key. Click, hold, drag, and release. And I want to set the opacity, because that's pretty pretty dark. Set the opacity to 15. It's just so it can add a little bit of more darkness to it. We could have darkened it another way, but this works for me. It's simple and it's easy. So we have that. We could feather this as well. So what I'm going to do, uncheck that. Go up to properties. I'm going to try to feather this a little bit. I'm focused on the edge of the little ones, actually. So we'll say about 1.5, I think. Or two. Let's do two. Okay. And we'll do the same for this one as well. Two. Okay. There we go. Now, what I want to do is I want to paint some stars in here as well. Some more stars, I think, actually. I tell you what. Let's create another folder, hold the Alt key, and just click the folder, and let's name it Dotted Lines, because we made a dotted line brush not too long ago, if you remember that. Fill an adjustment icon, solid color again, I'm gonna go black, like the mask, control I to invert. Have the B key on our keyboard, go to the brushes here, and right here, dotted lines, okay? Now I'm hoping you did save these brushes. If not, don't worry about it, you just, skip this and you don't have to worry about it in fact you can use pretty much any brush you have so what i'm going to try to do is try to trace around this the best i can um so might not go well but we're going to try it but before i do that i want to go ahead and select the outline um style effect here i want to copy that style onto this one okay let me test it here oops Make sure I'm on the mask. Okay, it's not blended like I would want. So let's try. Actually, let's see. Try. I think I did select that one. Yeah. So let's try something different. Okay. Not very noticeable. All I did was select the outline of the big star, basically, and pasted it. Not much of a difference, though. So basically, I'm just gonna kind of trace out here, and it's not very, it's not dark as as dark as I would like for some reason. What I'm gonna do is do a test paint real quick. I think. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a test right there, like so. And soften it up a little bit, I think. About 140, somewhere around there. And I may feather it as well. So go up to the feather. Yeah, 0.6. And I'm going to hold it. See, I'm, right now I've got some already painted. So I'm going to hold the uh, control key and tap the backspace key. It gets rid of that uh, lines that we did. I'm going to tap the tab key on the keyboard. And I'm just going to kind of get a better view here and try to draw outlines on this. Again, I'm going to try. Can't guarantee. Uh, perfect here. Just like so. That's good enough. I think that works just fine. Not perfect, but who cares? It looks cool. And let me try something. There's one experiment here. See if. It's maybe this color 
settings that I have. Nope, definitely not that. I'm just trying to basically get a little, maybe see if I wanted to have a little bit darker, see so I can see those lines better. But I don't know. I mean, you can still see them and they're fine. I'm just going to call it, leave it alone and just leave it like it is. I think it's fine. And you don't need a color overlay. I just added it just, just when I stayed the style. Um, but so far, I'm liking what I have. I really do. What I might do, let me go ahead also and uh, I want to copy that one as well. Uh, I think, yeah, copy that as well. We'll see. And I want to make another folder. I'm going to call this stars again. Actually, I'm going to name it blue stars. Okay. And go in here, fill an adjustment icon up to solid color. And I'm going to select a dark blue. Somewhere around there. Let's see. We might have to change it later. Go to the mask, control I to invert. And Go to brushes, tap the B key on the keyboard, go to brushes, and we're going to select the stars brush that we did as well, which was this one here, and we modified it into something like that. See that? And I'm going to right click since we've pasted the layer style, I uh, copied it, I'm going to paste it in there on the blue stars folder here, uh, uh, layer. And we may have to adjust the blending option here, size the brush down a little bit more. I'm just gonna paint in here these stars, okay? Just like so. There, something like that. It's interesting. And let's play with the blending option here because it is very, very, you know, hard to see. And what I wanna do is go into the FX icon, go to blending options. And let's play around with the blending mode. See, also, if you see blending if or blend if, Select that and you'll get a drop down tree here. You can select the blue, okay? And you can blend that blue in there just like that. Let me zoom all the way in here. And we can just blend that in just like so. Let's try about 155, somewhere around there. Click OK. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Pretty good. It's noticeable. And that was the key. And now I'm going to make sure I'm still on the mask. I'm going to go up to this properties again and we're going to feather that as well. Just a little bit, not a lot, 1.5, let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I mean, you can play around with the blending as well and have it more uh, blended even better if you want. Uh, I'm just giving you the idea of how to go about doing this. It's not the most artistic, but it works, and it still looks like a mural, and that is the point. That looks really cool. It really does. Uh, we don't need to go with the dotted lines, but... Eh, why not? Uh, but I do like what I have, so I'm going to save it. I'm going to name it Photo Effect 7. And I want to save it as an image as well. JPEG. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. And until next time, I will see you in another video.